November 6th, out on the muskrat line. We're pulling out traps today. Going up north on the lake from the access. The access is right there. Going to the north end, gonna set that. There's some duck hunters that are out here. I doubt they're on the north end. They think they're on the south end of the river. So I'm gonna keep on going. Find some muskrats, start setting some traps. We'll keep you posted. Out setting traps here and we're up on Muskrat Lodge. They just set three traps, just one and a half coils. You know, just standard sets on a little hut. And when I was setting, I noticed this. There's one, two, three dead muskrats. I've never seen that before. I don't know what to think of that. Three dead rats. They've been there quite a while too. It's a shame they're not in good condition. I'm gonna throw them on the front of the law or front of the boat. Last year trapping out here I found one dead muskrat. So not quite sure what the reasoning is. We'll see how many we find today. Early morning, just started being uh, trap checking hours. I already got, I believe, four or five rats in the boat. Can't quite tell. I think it's four. Now, coming up on this bank here, there's a bunch of cut grass as we go along. Now, if you look right there, there's a little cut in. Same thing right there. There's a little cut in. Just keeps going along. And as you can see, I got one rat, two rats, three rats. You know, there's sets that most people wouldn't make. Most people just set right on the lodges or the huts, the feeders, the toilets. But these little cuttings on these banks, they're a hot spot. I mean, that's where these rats are coming to feed every single night, every single day. And it's all up and down here. You know, they get it up in here. I'll kind of walk up and I'll show you a little bit. You know, they come up in here and they start chowing away. That's what they do is they come up and they start eating at this grass. And like I said, I got one rat, two, three rat, three rats, or three traps, three rats. I'm going to dispatch them, get them in the boat. So that puts us at seven rats out of 11 traps. So that's right around a two-thirds catch rate. Not quite, but... Just all up and down this bank, so. Nice, we'll go on down the line, we got, oh, I don't know, 280 more, more, 280 more traps to check. We got 209 rats yesterday, two beaver and a mink, so. Let's see what we get today. I'd like to get 148 rats, that'll put us at 600 total for the season so far. We'll keep you posted. We're here on a river. There's the bridge. Came upstream. And there's this little side channel that runs through right here. There's some rat droppings, mink scat. Right there is where I had my trap. There was a natural little trail going through, I'm assuming from rats and mink, and I caught a rat. Dispatch him, we'll reset and I'll show you. So this is how I have the trap set up. Just a little bit of blocking on each side. The animals aren't going to go over the blocking, they're just going to go right through. You know, if we get down and we get the animal's point of view, it's going to go right through this easy trail here, up and out. It's a little rocky here, so my method for staking, well, I didn't stake, I just fastened. I got a drag right there with a extension of chain, and that chain's running over to the trap. So, that way the mink, the rats, the coon, I even got this large rock on top of the chain, plus another little rock. So, that way they won't get away, it's staked well enough. I got another... Another mink trap down that way and then two beaver traps, we'll check those and see what that's all about. 
out here checking muskrat traps. Just in a little slough on a lake where a flowage kind of comes in. Got a few rats so far this morning. Not sure the exact count. Came up to this lodge, this little hut. Saw some fur sticking up. It's a little bit different fur than what I've been seeing all day. I knew right away what it was. Nice mink. There's the mink. First one of the season. I usually average about one mink for every 80 to 100 rats. I usually figure it as 100. So this year I'm not hitting that ratio. It's about one for every 300. So not sure what the reasoning is. But you know, that's how statistics work. You know, and I'll probably end up getting a bunch of mink today. So awesome. Here at another blind set for mink. You just got a cut bank coming down, coming along. There's this little hummock here. And it comes under here nice. And they got one trap right there on the side of that rock. They had one trap right there. And it caught ourselves a muskrat. I'll show the trap once I have the rat out of the trap. Back at the river we were at yesterday, caught a muskrat right underneath here in that trap yesterday. And I believe I mentioned I had a trap right there. And I caught, her, caught us a raccoon. We'll dispatch him, throw him in the vehicle, and away we go. So there's how I have the trap set. I'll come around that, come along the cut bank, and I'll walk right through the trap. So we'll give a little walk through. It's the first week of November, deer opener. I went muskrat trapping instead. Not sure the exact date today, but 2021. Today we got 155 rats that were keepable. And yesterday we caught 209 rats. This is yesterday's pile. It's kind of hard to stand back and get it all on the camera. That's a fair bit of rats. So, what's that? 364 muskrats I got to skim. It's going to be a busy few days between work and skinning and family. We'll get her done though. Season total, I believe, would be. I don't even know what the season total is, 603, 604, somewhere around there. I believe that would be 603, 603 rats so far this season. Well, we checked traps four times. We also caught two, no, two beaver yesterday, one beaver today. That buck make yesterday and that female today. So we also caught a coon today and we released that, so not too bad for one day. Not too bad for a second second day catch. I think yesterday's catch percentage was 72.8% on the muskrat sets. Today it was around 54%. Ran 283 foot holds. Pulled one yesterday, so it was 282 foot holds today. Four colony traps yesterday, four colonies today. Cut all the rats in the colonies yesterday. Uh, no rats in the colonies today. Seems to be how it usually goes when setting on lakes. Beaver were caught in just 330 runs, or 330s in uh, lodge entrances, I should say. Mink just caught at rat huts. I caught that big one before he got to any of my muskrats. The little one, 
I believe she was eating a few muskrats before I caught her, but that's how it goes. Got the gauntlets up to dry. Waiter's drying. That's about it for now. Trav again in a few weeks maybe.